All right, what is up guys? Monday, CSA, it's not 105. It's like 100 or something outside, but what we're gonna be talking about is a herniated nucleus pulposus, bulging disc in the cervical spine. And the big thing is, what we're gonna do is hack it a little bit in a way that kind of explains why it does what it does and the problems that arise from it and then how to fix it really, really fast. So now when I say fix it fast, and you can see I'm holding a band here, when I say fix it fast, and sorry, I'm all sweaty, it's not about fixing it so tomorrow you wake up and you don't have that tingling and numbness down your arm or that weakness or that loss of strength. So here's a quick way to see if you've got a bulging disc in the, either the uh, cervical or um, the cervical plexus or the brachial plexus. And that is if you have some weakness in your arm, you've got tingling and numbness, tingling and numbness. Those are really, really big signs that either there's a nerve entrapment down through the, through the um, where the nerve goes or there's a nerve entrapment actually at that dorsal nerve root ganglion where the disc is bulging out into that hole. So what we need to do is restore how that neck moves. So if you understand, the neck has what's called a kyphotic curve, right? So, or a lordotic curve, right? So we've got a lordotic curve in the, in the cervical spine, lordotic curve in the lumbar spine, kyphotic curve in the, in the thoracic spine. We wanna get that curve back, but we wanna restore full range of motion. Now there's 13 muscles on either side of the neck that control mechanics of the neck. And I'm gonna give you three drills to fix them and then one drill to strengthen the neck that's a lot easier than you think. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a band. This is a one inch band. You're gonna put it around your neck behind and you're not choking yourself. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on rotation. So I'm gonna pull on this side. When I pull on this side, so I'm gonna pull like this, it's gonna help turn my head this way. So I'm gonna pull and go for full rotation and then back to neutral. Pull and then back to neutral. Pull and then back to neutral, and then the same thing towards the other side. Pull, and then back to neutral, and then back to neutral. We're gonna do that three sets of 10. That's number one. Now, number two is, we're gonna work on regaining that lordotic curve and that cervical extension. So I'm gonna start right at the bottom of the spine, and I'm gonna pull down a little bit for the lower vertebra and up for the upper vertebra. So I'm gonna pull down and extend. I'm gonna work my way up, and then I'm gonna come up to the top, and really fulcrum over that band. And that is gonna help regain a lot of that extension. Now the last one that needs to happen is we have to work on translation. Now this one's gonna look very similar, but what I'm trying to do is glide my chin backwards. So I'm gonna pull straight out and tuck my chin back. So what I'm doing is working on translation of that cervical spine to help regain all that movement that's gone when you start to get that bulging disc because you start to guard. Now the last one is basically just regaining that normal head carriage so we don't have that anterior head carriage by retraining the posterior cervical musculature. So check this out. This is so easy. It's easy to do, which makes it easy not to do. What we do is we get up against the wall. So I know it's a little tough to see. So I'm away from the wall, okay? I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna cross them across my chest. My head is here. I call it the L rule, okay? I'm gonna come up against the wall where I'm making a straight line and I'm using my head and my neck to hold myself this way. I'm gonna stay like this five minutes. When I'm done, I'm gonna come back and relax. It's so easy to do and it's incredibly effective and you can do it anywhere and all you need is a band and a wall. Hey, listen, I'm Trav Smashworks, hacking that cervical spine bulging disc today. I'll check you guys out tomorrow. Have an awesome day.